Uh, so, uh, what's up ladies and gents, um, I thought I would come on and do another video for you guys. Um, so I wanted to talk about something for the Inams that I've been thinking about a little bit recently. Um, and I've been thinking more about, you know, the cinematications and things like that. So obviously they've not, you know, the thing, there's a few things that don't add up to me and obviously the, the first one is they've not been back to Orlando, Florida since that happened. Surely if Chris had done nothing wrong and was completely innocent, they would have returned to Orlando by now. Um, I mentioned that in a video um, a couple of months ago, I think it was, I uploaded a video where I was talking about this and I said I did think it was a bit weird that they hadn't returned to Orlando, Florida, especially considering they're so adamant that Chris hadn't done anything wrong and was innocent. Um, I mean, I guess I would just love for them to kind of go back to Orlando because, you know, I, 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 just, I guess I just want them to kind of prove people, uh, prove like the hate, prove the people wrong who think that they're never going to go back there. Like, I, really, I want them to kind of put an end to this sort of debate as to whether or not they'll ever go back to Orlando because I know there's a lot of people who, you know, don't think they'll ever go back there. I mean, I myself am in two minds as to whether they'll ever go back there, but I think, you know, there's no knowing for sure if they will. But I think, you know, it would be great to see them go back there just to, purely just to see, you know, what the online reaction would be to them going back to Orlando, Florida, because I can't imagine what the online reaction would be if they did do that, if they went back to Orlando, Florida, you know, I, I can't imagine what people would be saying online, you know, I think a lot of people would probably be shocked, especially the people who don't think they'll ever go back there, it would be a bit of a shock for those that, you know, think that, you know, um, I'm sure the Inhams would love an opportunity to prove people wrong on that and to prove that, you know, to show that they are actually willing to attempt Orlando, Florida again, you know, it would be interesting to see, you know, and it's like there's nothing stopping them from doing that, so, you know, what, what did you know what's the issue? Now, the other thing about these allegations is that what's always stood out to me is the fact that whenever you mention the allegations, Chris and Sarah always get really triggered, like they always get proper and really proper annoyed. And I just said to myself, like, why, you know, because obviously they've, they've said that, you know, nothing ever happened, you know, Chris didn't do anything and maintain that he's innocent. So if he is so innocent and he didn't do anything, why do they get so triggered every time someone mentions the allegations? You know, why, why does that trigger them so much if Chris didn't do anything wrong and if Chris is innocent? That's the biggest thing that doesn't add up about this whole, you know, about this whole saga or whatever, is the fact that they get so triggered over these allegations when they play, when, you, know, any, you know, every time someone mentions the allegations, when they've maintained on several occasions that Chris is innocent and didn't do anything wrong. So, from my understanding, is there's not really any reason for, <clears throat> any reason for them to be getting so triggered every, every time someone mentions the allegations, but they always seem to get very triggered whenever, any, whenever anyone mentions that, and I just think it's weird. You know, it's like, why would they get so triggered? You know, why would they get so triggered by people mentioning that if they know, even, you know, if it wasn't true? You know... I think, you know, I think we all know by, you know, I think we all know it's true and we all know that Chris did what he did and, you know, whatever, but so it's just that little thing that I've been thinking about recently is like, why do they get so triggered every time someone mentions the allegations? Like, especially if Chris didn't do anything or isn't guilty of anything. You know, that's what doesn't add up, is the fact that they get so triggered about, you know, people mentioning that when they've said so many times that Chris is innocent. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's just one of those things, it's like, they get, it, it's just, you know, one of those things that really stands out more than anything else is the fact that they get so triggered 
over her estate, or, or, you know, over the other day, you know, the time someone mentions the allegations, which is one of those, which, you know, which is what makes me, you know, which is what makes me think that there's more to this and that Chris is, in, 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 Chris is, you know, guilty of sin, because if he wasn't guilty, like, the way I see it, if he wasn't guilty of anything, and he was, you know, and he hadn't done anything wrong, he wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be getting so triggered every time someone mentioned the allegations. I think the reason they, I think the reason they do get triggered whenever anyone mentions those allegations is because Chris did actually do something. You know, Chris did actually do something wrong. You know, and it's like, I mean, it's just like, I don't think it has to it has anything to do with the fact that. People are still bringing the allegations up eight years later, or, or however many years down the line, like five or six years later. You know, I think there's more to it than that. I think it's not just to do with that. You know, I was to say that they get triggered, but you know, they get triggered because people are bringing up allegations that were bringing up allegations that were made five years ago. But I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think. There's more to it than you know than just that, if you know what I mean. Um, like that, you know, that's one of those things that has really always kind of stood out to me, like a hole in the head, is the fact that they get so triggered whenever anyone mentions the allegations. Like that seems to trigger them more than anything else does, and I and I, and I can't like put my finger on why that triggers them more than anything else does. You know, my, you know, my belief on it is the reason why they get so triggered about people, you know, about people mentioning the allegations is because there was some truth to the allegations that were made against Chris. And I think, they, you know, obviously they'll deny that, they'll deny that every single time. But, you know, I, I just, like, maybe I'm looking at things in a, you know, in a, in a, diff, in a wrong way. Maybe I, maybe I should be looking at things, you know, from a different angle. But it's just, you know, that's one of the things that has really always stood out to me is the fact that they get so triggered every time someone mentions the allegations that were made against Chris. And I just think to myself that they wouldn't be getting so triggered over that, over someone mentioning the allegations if Chris hadn't done anything wrong. You know, that's what my opinion is on it. Like, that's my opinion that they wouldn't be getting so triggered if Chris hadn't done anything wrong. Like... You know, it just stands out. It really does stand out to me. And I think, you know, that might stand out to a lot of you guys as well. Maybe you guys have noticed this. Maybe you guys have noticed that they they really seem to get, you know, massively triggered every time someone mentions the allegations that were made against Chris, which to me is a bit unusual. And it, it's something that raises a few red flags for me. You know, it kind of makes me believe, you know, it makes me believe that Chris is guilty. The fact that he gets so triggered, you know, that both he and Sarah get so triggered every time someone mentions those allegations. Especially if they're not true. You know, if they're not true, if these allegations are not true, why do they get so triggered every time someone mentions them? This is the big question I have. Is if the allegations against Chris, uh, uh, Chris are not true in any particular way, why do Chris and Sarah get so triggered whenever anyone mentions them? That's a question that someone wants to ask them. Because I'm sure they'll have they'll, they'll have some kind of rational explanation for why they get so triggered whenever 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 anyone mentions these allegations. And it won't and it, and whatever it is, it won't be the truth, you know. But like. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that I wouldn't get triggered if people had mentioned the allegations that had been made years earlier, like... I mean, maybe it would annoy me a bit, but... You know, the way... It, it, it's unusual for them to be getting so triggered over allegations that they claimed weren't true. You know... And, they, you know, and over allegations that they claimed many times weren't true, you know... It's just... I, I think, you know, people aren't really be blamed for believing that Chris did what he did. You know, I think people are right to believe that. I think people are right to 
think that he did what he did and a right to believe that girls that, you know, who, who spoke out about what Chris did. And again, this is another thing that really stands out to me about it is how I was like, girls never deleted that video that she did about Chris. Because this is another thing, it's like, why would she have done that video exposing what Chris did if she knew that what she was saying wasn't true? She, you know, I think if she knew that she was lying, she would never have done that video. Yeah, but she had done that video and, and she did that video because she knew she was speaking the truth. And what's funny is that at the time, a lot of people did these videos, did videos where they were kind of, you know, speaking out about Chris and what he did. And they were made to actually take those videos down. But that, yeah, that girl who, uh, Jess, who posted a video exposing what Chris did, she's never been made to take that video down, and it kind of makes you wonder why. Um, I mean, it's kind of... I think there's a lot of evidence it needs... You know, looking at, there's a lot of evidence that people need to be... You know, there's a, there's a lot of little things that people really need to be looking at think, and, and really thinking about, you know, because this is one of those things, it's just one of those things that really doesn't kind of add up about it, is why would that, you know, that girl have posted a video about what was saying about what was did if she knew that she was lying and if she knew that what she was saying wasn't true? I mean, the no idea I found would, you know, would obviously believe that Chris didn't do what he did. I bet they wouldn't have the balls to actually stand in front of that girl's parents and tell that girl's parents that they all was lying. You know, they're all happy to come on the Inham channel and defend them and say Chris didn't do what he did, but would they stand in front of that girl's parents and tell that girl's parents to their face that their daughter was lying about what she said about Chris? You know, I bet none of the iPad would actually have the balls to do that. I bet none of the iPad would actually have the balls to stand in front of that girl's parents and tell their and tell that girl's parents to uh, to their face uh, to their faces that their daughter was lying about what she did. Which is right, you know, which is a true point. You know, I bet none of them would have the balls to do that. You know, it's just there's so many things about this that doesn't add up. You know, the way they get so triggered about the yeah, whenever anyone mentions the allegations. The fact that this girl's posted a video, uh, you know, she's never deleted it. You know, she was never made to take it down. You know, the fact that they've not actually been back to Orlando, Florida in the, what, six, seven years since it happened. You know, because it happened, I think, in October 2017. So we're talking, you know, just over seven years ago now. And it's like, what? It's like, that, that's crazy to think that they've not been back to Orlando for seven years since that happened. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think they've been back to America since uh, since then, but I don't think they've been back to all that. I mean, have they been back to them? Have they actually been back to America since the allegations came out about Chris? I don't know. I'm assuming they have, but maybe some of them, maybe, you know, I don't know if they have, but if they have been back to America or if they haven't been back to America, but... Uh, I think we all know for a fact that they haven't actually been back to Orlando, Florida, specifically since those allegations were made against Chris. Which kind of says a lot. Um, you know, I mean, I remember uh, Sarah once saying about in a vlog about it, she was saying that they were waiting for the COVID restrictions to be lifted before they went back to the US. But that, I guess that was a lot of bullshit. If they've been, you know, the, the, the COVID restrictions have been lifted, uh, lifted over there for how long now? You know, um, it's like, maybe, I don't know whether they'll ever go back to Orlando. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll attempt it. But, you know, just to prove the haters wrong, just to prove people, other people, to prove those people wrong who think they'll never go back there. You know, as I said, I, I would just love to see the online, what the, what the online reactions would be to that. Because I think the online, the online reaction to that would be absolutely incredible. You know, to be honest with you. Um, it might, and it, I think, you know, people, I, I actually think that pizza, a lot of people would be shocked, you know, if they were, if they went back to Orlando, but I don't think there's any people out there who really think they've ever done that. I, I think there's a lot of people out there who don't think that they're, they're, they're never really done, they've never really done a go back there, but who knows? 
I think, you know, it's just one of those things that remains kind of uncertain. Like, you know, it's just there's no... I guess well, it's not something they mean that that's a question that they, they may never be an answer to, is will they go back to Orlando or will they attempt that again? You know, it's it's a question that as time, uh, that, you know, as a time of it all in this does remain unanswered. Um, you know, obviously they haven't actually attempted that yet. You know, and they haven't attempted to, you know, return to Orlando yet. And I don't know if they ever want to... Well, I... I, 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 feel, I, I think there's, it's, it's, it's a bit more of a 50-50. I don't think it's a full-on, like, it's 100% certified that they'll never go back there. I think my mind, you know, the way I look at it, it's more of a 50-50. Like, there is a chance that they might, they won't go back there, but there is also a chance that they could attempt it again. They could attempt to go back there again, you know. So it's hard to say it's not going to happen or it's never going to happen because you can't really say that it's something that is never going to happen because... There's no way of that. There's no knowing that for certain that it, you know that a return to Orlando for the Inums is not is something that is never is never going to be happen, never going to happen again. You know, I certainly don't think that it's something that can actually be completely ruled out. I think some people might have, some of you guys might have already decided that it can be ruled out. But I think you know, it, I think they would do it just to prove the haters wrong. That's I feel like that's the only reason they would ever attempt it. It's not because they want to actually go back there, but purely, you know, they would do it purely just to prove the haters wrong. You know, they would they would do it just to kind of prove a point. You know, that they prove a point to the people, you know, to people that you know say they'll never go back there. Um, it would be, I think, it would be unbelievable if that happened. You know, maybe it happens next year. Maybe twenty twenty five is the year we finally see them go back to Orlando, Florida again after eight years. It would be, I mean, it would be kind of interesting, you know, to see it happen. Um, I can't, as I said earlier in the video, I can't imagine what the, the online reaction would be to them returning to Orlando, Florida. Um, I, I don't know what to say. So I hope you enjoyed um, this video and I will see you for another one very soon. Bye-bye.